Okay, this is the first night in the camper. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How do you like it, Austin? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Do you miss the boat yet or no? No. All right. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode here on Cap Tech. Today, I'm going to answer the question, why did I switch from boating to camping? Thrown me into quite an identity crisis. Boater longer than I've been a husband, longer than I've been a father, and definitely longer than I've been a camper. Mainly it was because of my uh, second uh, kid being born, and I don't think we're going to get out there enough to make it worthwhile to have a boat with a uh, newborn as well as a five-year-old. Plus, the camper will allow me to go to Southern Illinois, which is kind of uh, my friend zone, um, and to uh, try something different. Not to mention, I've been driving a uh, Ford F-150 as of about a month ago instead of my Mustang. And I'm just dying to pull some. Quite a bit of adventure involved in selling my ship. Was not exactly flying off the shelf. I sold it for a smidge under 3K. Selling a working boat that must be especially rare with a trailer. I tried to trade it um, on my afore before mentioned truck deal. Got a couple no's from local dealers on that. But I did finally sell it to a nice young man from the city um, who sent me a video of himself uh, out on it and then I uh, repositioned my sales collateral video in you know that originally designed to sell the boat has been redesigned as a uh, tribute video which I encourage you to check out so quite a bit of adventure around buying a camper uh, they appear to be selling like hot cakes whether that's the uh, stimulus tax refund coronavirus there's all uh, you know like cases uh, or causes that uh, you know may be causing an increase in camper sales um, also the time of year you know found a uh, camper for a skosh over 5k I didn't want too much of a project but didn't really care it's brand new I didn't want to overcommit to a uh, new hobby my requirements on a camper were that I needed a private bedroom and a bunkhouse for little Austin and it doesn't look like a fifth wheel is a real great option for an f-150 at least according to my searches so I wound up selecting this uh, 30 foot Jayco 97 in good shape uh, the trip to uh, pick it up and do the walkthrough was a real adventure we went up to a town called Hound Wisconsin and met with a fellow named Papa Bear, which since that's Green Bay, I don't think it was a tribute to uh, George Hallis or anything. Looks like he owns a pretty neat bar and restaurant up there I'd like to get to if I'm ever in Pound again. On the way up there, we stayed at the Radisson Madison, which if anybody from there is watching the video, you got a fine hotel there, but I think you should actually market it as the Madison Radisson. Anyway, feel free to use my idea. Anyway, on the way back after getting the camper, which the wife is much better at pulling than I am, by the way, uh, we stayed in a place called Osh Vegas. It kind of beta test uh, our camper. We are able to plug in and use the heater and stuff but didn't do much because it was cold and snowing, which is uh, fitting for a Kaplman camp out as illustrated by our Kaplman curse video here. Should note, the wife is uh, strong where I'm weak. I drove up there and she drove back, pretty much pulling the trailer, spread it out over a couple of nights. Very windy and we did uh, lose an hour placing it exactly where we wanted, I shouldn't even say exactly, almost exactly where we wanted in the uh, driveway. But now one of, only one of two of us can park in the garage. Probably plan on uh, storing the camper in Ashley at my buddy Johnny Rain Clouds eventually since uh, probably going to do most of our camping downstate. The uh, process of docking a 24 foot boat was quite a bit easier than uh, parking the camper and I actually have had uh, occurrences where I've done the docking in reverse. It's still harder to do the camper but uh, maybe I'll get used to it. Probably not if history's any lesson. So in our next video we're going to cover try to cover our first real adventure um, which will be a little mini camp that we're gonna do probably around Johnson Saw Trail or something over spring break somewhere low you know local enough and then over the summer with the aforementioned uh, new baby on the way I'll have some time off for a new parent leave and we'll then uh, be camping in uh, southern Illinois somewhere where I can find uh, a beach and peace yeah. uh, we're going to be uh, selecting a campground soon probably a topic for another video looks like uh, private campgrounds you can stay a little longer than 14 days but the state campgrounds you can only stay a couple of weeks but they're a little cheaper uh, gonna need uh, internet is a paramount concern just because the way i make my living no i don't mean make videos although please subscribe to the channel um first real ad adventure should be an adequate distance away from like the murfreesboro monster who i believe in and that scares me a little bit but i did want to get down around Maconda area fern cliff maybe glenwood lake we'll see and i want to see how we adjust uh you know to live in the camper for up to 30 days you know with the wife being a teacher and me able to work remotely uh, and if my liver uh, is able to, you know, handle being in vacation mode, you know, for too long. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. And stay tuned for more videos on Cap Tech. Or should we call it now, Camp Tech. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And click that like button if you want to see more videos.
you like blue or if you like pink. What about uh, the other color? And do do drag. <laughs> <laughs>